Welcome to my presentation about RCAP Tianjin Invitational Tournament 2021. Please enjoy. First, I will talk about my team. My name is Yudhistira Aprori. You can call me Yudis. I join as individual with team name Tanpo Aran. I'm Indonesian and I'm 17 year old. I have two years experience of robotics and this is my first time I participate in RCAP competition. In the preliminary, the challenge is how to develop the program that navigates the virtual robot to reach all waypoints and finish line as fast as possible. In this challenge, participants are required to plan an optimum path for the robot to navigate around the virtual city with the help of motor and sensor. This time, I joined the subledge of Autonomous Driving Challenge under 19. Fill in preliminary, the problem here is a stable line tracing program for high speed and curvy line. The robot failed when avoiding traps and obstacles and navigating the robot to checkpoint and finish line as fast as possible. The method I use is the ID control line tracing, conditional line tracing algorithm, and conditional sensor algorithm to avoid obstacles and traps. The key result here is smooth and efficient movement. The conclusion is if we incorporate many strategical methods, we can solve the problematic issue of the robots and bring us to get score as best as possible. The next part is analysis. The mission in this challenge is to reach all checkpoint and blink the LED for 2 seconds and go to the finish line as fast as possible. And the challenge can be divided into two mini tasks. The first is mapping. We Search the most efficient pathway and try passing through it without missing all the checkpoints. In this case, there's a lot of route that can be passed with line follower program or PID program. And the second is line tracking, which is used to reach all the checkpoints and finish line. The overall mission can be complete faster if we do the mini tasks successfully. I use the Jigstra algorithm as the foundation of optimal path planning with some manual customization for non-PID supported pathway. And for the line tracking, I use three methods. The first is PID control line tracer. Here, I use the proportional integral derivative control via the advanced action tool for smoother and more efficient robot movement. And the second is conditional sensor algorithm, which consists of three sensors. One, the RGB sensor, which is I use to read the checkpoint and road marker color, and two, the ultrasonic sensor, which is I use to detect and avoid obstacles such as wall and road border, and the last is gyroscope, which is I use to detect rotation of the robot to reduce ineffective movement of the robot with incline or decline surface. And the last method I use is the conditional path follower algorithm or the hard coding section. I'll control the motor using timing, self-defined variable, and sensor via the advanced action and condition. I use the Cospace Robot Simulator Studio interface for programming the robot. The advantage of using it is the app has a various method for programming the robot such as Chi language, Python language, advanced action or action, and graphical programming interface. For the implementation of, of but planning strategy, I'll do, it ma I will do it manually with some customization of road and more time efficient programming. And I will do the checkpoint as the node and only part with line will calculate it with Jigstra table. To make the robot learning well, we use three different tracking algorithm. The first is PID control line tracer. It is used due to consideration of getting more smooth movement of the robot. In this robot, I use full PID control, easier turning in less time compared to other line following algorithm. We can see in the screen the flowchart and the pseudocode of PID control line tracer. The next is conditional path algorithm or the hard coding. It used to passing road shortcuts which is didn't have PID support and I'll use the timing, sensor, and motor speed combination via the advanced action and condition 
and in the screen it is the example of conditional path algorithm usage. Unfortunately, sometimes the robot is unstable, especially in the conditional path algorithm sequence, like this, this, and this. So we enter the most painful and stressful part of programming, the debugging. Oh no! The debugging process is consists of five trial and error cycles. Testing the robot, observing the robot movement, comparing the expected result with the actual result, analyzing the error and adjusting the variable with new value, and get back to testing, and so on. The trial and error, it will make the robot perfect. The next segment is the conclusion and further work. The result of conditional road follower strategy, we can get more effective and smooth robot movement and get better finish time. That's the comparison chart of strategical method that I use in the robot. We know from this chart, this, the normal line pathway is the slowest but have easiest programming method and followed by more efficient line pathway which is the mediocre and, and the fastest method I use is the conditional best strategy which is the harder programming difficulty. If I ask to solve the same challenge again, I'll improve my strategy by to the conditional sensor algorithm such as ultrasonic, RGB, and gyroscope more efficient to get better results. And I'll make more effective path planning by comparing more pathway algorithms such as greedy, A star, and so on. The last but not least is the learning experience. Studying in robotics and programming with co-space robot is very fun for me. But participating in the international robotic competition for the first time was an awesome experience for me. The most fascinating part that I can learn how to make an AI strategy for completing the challenge. And joining the RCAP Tianjin Invitational Tournament 2021 gave me a lot of experience and knowledge, especially in robotics. And the most important point that I wish to share with other Cospace game player is keep learning and don't forget to have fun. I think it is enough. Thank you for your attention and peace.